environment is where we live, development is what we do, the two are inseparable. Uh, and that humanity had the ability to make that development, what we do to improve our own lives, sustainable, something that our kids could benefit from rather than just us, uh, to assure that people all around the world in the present uh, met their current needs without undermining the ability of future generations to do the same. The fact is that on average at the global scale, uh, well-being has been doing pretty well, and that is good news indeed. The bad news is that this, this remarkable you know, heroic progress uh, in how people live on the planet uh, has come at the expense of the planet. Many um, um, even relatively calm scholars of the situation see us is with those patterns behind us uh, heading over the next decades for what's been called a perfect storm. Uh, the intersection of our needs for, of, of in a world where we're going to have nine billion people on the planet in many of your lifetimes, uh, demands for water going up by 30 percent, food 50 percent, energy 50 percent, uh, the set of diseases we need to combat up by 50 percent as we continue to churn out uh, new communicable diseases. All of these things coming together in ways that efforts to try to fix one of them, say grow biofuels to do clean energy, end up having implications for uh, world food prices and availability and so on. They're all stuck together and the battle for sustainability is really very much about what we do about both uh, calming down this perfect storm a bit, taking some of the energy out from under it, but then also buffering ourselves in order to ride through it uh, by some clever combination of changes in our consumption patterns, better institutions, better technologies to let us get more good with less Not. bad. Um, the fact is that in practice, from the level of the UN, through corporations, through communities, essentially every country I work in around the world, you'll find a vision which I think has stuck around instead of disappearing like all these other magical phrases because it, it, it really addresses stuff that is at the core of what people and businesses and countries worry about. That is, how they can balance, how they can bring into alignment with one another. Uh, their aspirations for economic growth, increasing just their material well-being, uh, their uh, inclinations for social development, being in communities and groups of people who they enjoy and find enriching. Uh, and doing that in ways that the environment is improved and supportive of that uh, rather than essentially the thing you're spending down until it bottoms out and nothing's left for us. Um, leadership matters. It takes a bunch of folks, you know, people like us, decide to make one of these things happen and team up with some other people that make it happen. I don't know any other, you know, magic missing ingredient, but every one of these has a super cool and dedicated person at the middle of it who probably once looked about like us.